Good evening. It's an historic day for aviation with the first direct flight from Australia to Europe set to depart from Perth in just under an hour. The inaugural Qantas 787 Dreamliner flight will fly non-stop from Perth to London, a 17-hour trip. Tegan Sapwell is at the Qantas departure lounge and Tegan, the aircraft touched down from Melbourne just a short time ago. Yeah, Michael, this is a monumental day in aviation in Australia. The Qantas Dreamliner is now sitting on the tarmac, ready to go for its first non-stop flight between Perth and London. Now, a short time ago, we saw the pilots and also the crew board the aircraft, and they're being joined now by hundreds of excited passengers. Of course, this is much more than just an aviation milestone. It's also a big win for tourism in WA, with this daily flight set to inject about $36 million into the state's economy. Flight QF9 from Melbourne lands in Perth ahead of its first non-stop flight to London. The Qantas 787 Dreamliner is set to begin its historic voyage, flying the almost 14,500 kilometre journey to London in just 17 hours. A service set to elevate the flying kangaroo and WA tourism to new heights. As all the West Australians here know, it's the best part of Australia. Among the first passengers to check in, Hello. Qantas CEO Alan Joyce. Hello, Alan. Nice to meet you. And Premier Mark McGowan. How are you? Nice to you, man. Hi. But this isn't just a flight for VIPs. Ross McCarran taking his five-month-old daughter Charlie to visit her great-grandmother, the youngest passenger to make the journey. I predict she'll be asleep for 12 hours and she's going to be a dream baby. The flight will be the fastest way to travel between Australia and Europe, the world's third longest commercial flight and longest Dreamliner flight. Then we can truly say history has been made. With a capacity of 236 passengers, the new daily service is expected to pump up to $36 million a year into the local economy. About 60% of passengers who arrive from London expected to stay in Perth. The remainder will catch connecting flights to the East Coast. And I absolutely think this will put Perth on the map and get more Brits here in WA. The new direct service, which brings with it a new Qantas lounge in Perth, has been years in the making. A decade of seasonal wind patterns analysed to help the aircraft fly faster and more efficiently. Today's inaugural flight, operated by four pilots, confident all will go smoothly. Qantas has always done this, has stretched the limits and that's what we're going to do today and we're going to be successful. The original kangaroo route from Australia to London in 1947 made seven stops in four days and cost the equivalent of $35,000 in today's money. Starting at $1,300, this new route is not the cheapest and a 17-hour flight is not for everyone. But it will bring Australia and Europe that little bit closer and for Perth, that can only be a win. So, Michael, there's plenty of excitement here in the departure lounge this evening. Uh, the passengers are about to start boarding any minute. We'll be back a little later on when the Dreamliner finally departs. Michael. We'll hear from you then. Thank you, Tegan Sapwell.